Okay, so let's go back to what we learned last time as a summary. Last time we talked about this equation, right? I really hope that you can memorize this one, right? What is TP0? Anyone remember? This is about the delay of a gate of an inverter. What is TP0? It's a minimum size delay. Minimum size delay of, uh, I mean, you mean the delay of what? The minimum size transistor or? Yeah. Mm. Yes. So this is like the, instead of transistor, we will say the minimum delay of the, delay of minimum size inverter, okay, with symmetric VTC, okay? So you still have the PMOS might not be minimum size or MOS might not, but one of them is minimum, okay? Usually mean MOS is minimum. Then you size the PMOS so you have the symmetric VTC and that is the delay of that uh, inverter, right? How do I remember this one? Because uh, if you if it is uh, not symmetric, then it has different uh, the uh, actually not symmetric VTC. I should say with a uh, symmetric delay, right? Because we have the same uh, delay, either pulling up or pulling down. Okay, very good. This is technology dependent. I want you to remember this because once we take out the TP0, if your inverter is fast, then that is your, uh, that, then the credit goes to you. You are the circuit designer, all right? You are responsible for this part, but not this part, right? This part is chosen by your company. Your company is rich, can tape out uh, something very advanced, with um, advanced technology. That is what they choose, right? You cannot control. But as a circuit designer, you control this part, okay? Now, so by doing this, then we come up with this, uh, we say that it is not F divided by gamma. What is F again? Do you remember? Fan out. Fan out, thank you. And what is the meaning of fan out? Uh, ex extrinsic capacitance divided by intrinsic capacitance. Is that right? Is that extrinsic divided by intrinsic? This is the intrinsic capacitance. This is the extrinsic capacitance. Can you think again? Intrinsic, including the drain capacitance, right? Intrinsic. Yeah. Uh -huh. So what is fan out? Uh, you are almost, almost right, right? You say extreme sex, then maybe we're talking about the gate of the next stage. Next stage. Yeah. And the gate of the uh, driver. Of this, yes, of the driver or this stage, right? Yeah. Very good. But this is not something, not rocket science for you, but sometimes you know, want to know the concept very well. And that's why you are better than others in the company, right? Because everyone can understand. If I tell this to anyone, engineer, they will get it immediately. But if you can internalize this concept, you make it just so simple for you. People ask you, what is the height of that person? Immediately, you think about the distance between the top of the head to the bottom, to the uh, feet. You don't need to think about the definition again. So this is what you internalize, right? Same for this one, we talk about fan out immediately think, okay, it's talking about the next stage gate and the, the previous stage gate. This is just equation, but it tell you immediately, you know, or talking about the, the, the size, the, if the next stage inverter is larger, but twice larger than mine, than the driver, then the fan out is two. Oh, you just like, then you immediately know that, oh, you just like, I'm driving two of myself. And if your fan out is four, I'm driving four of myself. 
Like this type of thing, right? So you won't get confused. Then you, you have the insight and then you can do more complicated problem. Otherwise, this equation is nothing to you, right? Or any engineer, they, they understand right away, but you want to understand the importance. So we have this fan out, then it tells us that, hey, uh, the delay really not just about how strong you are, it's also about what you are driving. Right, and also not just about what you are driving. It's all about, all also about how strong you are, and this is captured in fan out. For gamma, right? If you remember, it is just the drain capacitance to the gate capacitance ratio. For we don't know what it is, but for some technology, for every technology, we can come up with a number. They have some ratio just because they are transistor. But because you understand this, you immediately know that if I go from 32 nanometer MOSFET to 22 nanometer FinFET in Intel, you might have the sense immediately if you realize that, hey, this gamma might change a lot. Why? Because I go from plan, planar MOSFET to FinFET. The ratio between the drain and gate must be different because it's now a 3D transistor, right? But I still know that they have this ratio. I probably can come up with this ratio. Later, you go to nano wire. This gamma might change. Then you go to stat nano wire. You might you might change again. But everything is still the same, right? So think about this, right? Try to keep thinking, right? If if you're interested in this field, right? Of course, if you just want to pass this class, it really doesn't matter, right? Get it done. But you otherwise think about that, right? So I spent so much time. So TP equal to this one. But why this is important, right? Because with this, then we decide the inverter train. And then we say that I need to sum up F the delay of every stage. And then I optimize it. I say that the shortest propagation time is when, do you remember the fan out are the same? equal fan out. It means C2 divided by C1 equals C3 divided by C2 all the way to CL divided by CN. Okay, and because of this, then in turn, instead of sum, I just multiply by capital N. And then instead of small f, I just put it as F to capital F to the power one over N. Right, and we remind ourselves the so called total fan out capital F is just CL divided by CG1. Right, so this is something even you forgot how we derive it. Right, I hope that you can memorize. Right, it, this is a very fair question in the interview if you tell people you have studied digital circuits. And then what is the optimal number of stage? This one is that I tell you you need to use N stage. Maybe, I don't know, maybe some do some reason you're forced to do that, right? If not, then what is that? Then it depends on the gamma. Gamma equal to zero, what does it mean? It means CD equal to zero. It means we ignore the intrinsic delay, intrinsic capacitor, right? We ignore it. Then you want to have the fan out equal to E. So it's an exponential horn, what people have been saying, right? The first stage is size one, second stage is e to the power one, e to the power two, e to the power three, all the way until you reach the low. So it's not a horn, it's exponentially growing. But more realistic, of course, we do have this delay, which is, uh, we do have intrinsic capacitance. Here we just assume it is the same as the gate capacitance. Of course, this is a pro approximation. In this case, the best is F equal to 3.6, but I also show you that the delay between 3.6 and 4 is not too much. So engineer make things easy, right? We don't spend extra memory to memorize something does not bring us too much profit. So we say fan out equal to four. Then I hope that you ring the bell. You remember since undergraduate or whatever, whenever people talk about delay or they will talk about delay of fan out of four, because usually we design the circuit in this way, we fan out of four to get a minimum delay. And that's why if you want to tell me how good your 
divide your your gate is I want you to quote me fan out of four delay because this is the highest chance I'm going to use this gate. Are you? I probably won't going to use your gate for fan out of one hundred, or I'm not going to use it for when fan out of one. Okay, so that is one thing. And last time we also talked about the power. Actually, I have not reached this equation because I was a little bit slow. But basically, we talk about the dynamic power, right? The CV square times the frequency. We also have this one. Do you remember what is this? We did the IPTS. Anyone remember? That's the transition thing whenever both the uh, MOSFETs are on. Right. This is the transistor, transisting, uh, transisting uh, uh, during the transition, <laughs> and MOS and PMOS are both on. Okay. Very good. Right. So this one will give us a lot of, so cur the main point is this, the current flows from VDD to ground directly. Okay, it doesn't go to the low. It doesn't help you to charge up your capacitor. Okay. And that will have an uh, impact on the power. Okay. And another is the leakage that I will summarize today. Huh? So when you turn it off, right, it is in steady state. One is on, one is off. So the whole thing is off. Then the current, of course, the volt, the power, of course, is VDD times the current. So why is that? I just remind you again, this is the